Now, recently, FCC Commissioner uh, Ajit Pai released this incredibly tone-deaf, ridiculously goofy video in an attempt to make taking away internet freedom super fun and cool. I'd say it's a little bit of a failure, uh, but here, I want to show you some of that video right now. Let you make your own decision. Hi, I'm Ajit Pai. I'm the chairman of the FCC. Recently, there's been quite a bit of conversation about my plan to restore internet freedom. Here are just a few of the things you'll still be able to do on the internet after these Obama-era regulations are repealed. You can still gram your food. Quality. Are you selfieing or just... You can still post photos of cute animals, like puppies. <laughs> you can still shop for all your Christmas presents online. Yes, got that bulk deal on fidget spinners. Yes, those Eclipse glasses are so cheap. You can still binge watch your favorite shows. You can still stay part of your favorite fan community. You can still drive memes right into the ground. Okay, that is number one, uh, slightly entertaining in the worst way. Uh, and number two, incredibly tone deaf. <laughs> You're going to notice a couple of things here. N number one, Harlem Shake from 2013. That, that was viral about five years ago. You're a little late. Then again, he did say he wants to m drive memes into the ground. Well, congratulations. It is now in the ground. Now... The other thing I want you to notice is the woman dancing next to Aj uh, Ajit Pai uh, is the woman who helped to spread the Pizzagate conspiracy that nearly got people killed, innocent people, when a gunman decided to stroll into a pizza place in order to try to find this pedophile sex ring or something that's going on that actually wasn't going on. It wasn't real. It, insane, right? So, uh... Hey, look, is it any surprise that this guy is working with people who spread, who spread pizza gate? Now, thankfully, there might be a little a bit of justice that is coming to this abortion of a video. The creators of the Harlem Shake, as I mentioned, are looking to sue the FCC. Awesome. Now, according to The Hill, Bauer, a DJ whose real name is Harry Rodriguez, uh, who was the creator of the Harlem Shake, said he was taking action over the song's use in a tweet on Thursday night. Bauer told Billboard in a statement that the use of the song, quote, obviously comes as a surprise to me as it was just brought to my attention. Quote, I want to be clear that it was used completely without my consent or counsel. My team and I are currently exploring every single avenue available to get it taken down. He also added, I support net neutrality like the vast majority of this country and am appalled to be associated with this repeal in any way. Uh, look, Bauer, all due respect, man, I don't think anybody was thinking about you or, or your song when they saw that video. Most of them were probably thinking how punchable that face is, uh, Ajit Pai's face. I'm not saying do it, okay? I'm actually saying do the opposite. Don't do that. It's not personal. He's just working for Verizon. He's working for the corporations. It, again, don't go after him personally and definitely don't punch his face. That said, his face is punchable. Okay. Anyway. Um, <laughs> look, he's right, though. Bauer is. 83% of people, of the American people, are in favor of net neutrality rules. And here's Ajit Pai laughing in your face. He's making fun of you. He's mocking you. This entire video, I think, is a gigantic troll job. So, 
well done. And look, everything he said in that video is a lie. I mean, sure, yeah, yeah, you can do that, a lot of those things, that, but only if you pay more. And that's the whole problem. There's a lot of people who can't afford to pay that, that ransom that you're allowing the ISPs to hold on regular people. So, well done on that. There's a little bit of irony that comes uh, later on. But first, the record label behind the song, Mad Deason, also tweeted that it had issued a takedown for the video and pursue further legal action if it is not removed. That's why it was immediately removed from YouTube. Gone. I had to go find it on Facebook. So, And for now, it's still there on Facebook. So that's interesting. You, you would think the FCC director would know about a little thing called copyright infringement. He didn't even ask for permission. He's like, oh, I'm going to take this, you know, this, this music and use it. Now, look, to be fair, maybe it falls under fair use. But I do not blame Rodriguez for wanting his song to not be used by the most hated man on the Internet today. Somewhere out there, Martin Shkreli is smiling. I'm no longer the most hated man on the internet. Yes. Nailed it. Uh, now, it also strikes me as odd uh, that the people over at the Daily Caller are also celebrating that they wanted to be in this video. As I think they're one of the first to get blocked or throttled. Now, let me explain, right? Companies, giant corporations, and ISPs, they don't really want to be known as people who are okay with hate and discrimination. Look, just look at the backlash of advertisers against right-wing sites. Uh, look at the backlash on Hannity. Look at the backlash against O'Reilly. That took him down, right? Look at the backlash on YouTube uh, with people that are doing hate and violence against the alt-writers. Advertisers don't like to alienate their customer bases. Well, what are all these right-wing sites about? They're about hate. They're about division. They're about alienating people, whether it be gay people, whether it be immigrants uh, or liberals. They're about alienating people. So really, when you think about it, if a company is going to block or throttle content that makes them look bad, then they would go naturally after right-wing sites. Now, that doesn't mean it's only right-wing sites. Since these companies are also part of the establishment, chances are there's a lot of left-wing sites myself uh, included, if you're fighting against the establishment, you're also likely going to get shut down or, you know, blocked or throttled, et cetera, et cetera. So, but look, man, right-wing sites, Daily Caller, you, you don't realize that they're also probably going to be coming for you. Because <laughs> again, it's generally bad to, uh, for business to alienate major uh, the majority of the country. There's no profit in it. So... And allying yourself, by the way, with a woman that pushed Pizzagate. No way. No, no, no. Um, I know I have this uh, woman's name somewhere. Well, it's not really important. Um, but you can see she uh, pushed this conspiracy theory on the Daily Caller. So there's that. So, if, if, again, if any uh, website's going to be blocked first, well, then it would be conservative sites like these that push that kind of ridiculous, dangerous conspiracy theory. Do you still think not having net neutrality is a good idea? Hey, everybody, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent progressive media, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash TYTNation.